What's going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Top channel. Today we are back doing something that we have not done here on the channel in months and I'm excited to be back here but we are on the reddit for r slash minecraft builds. This is where all of the best builders in the Minecraft community show off their builds, time lapses and just overall awesome creativity stuff that they built here in Minecraft and uh, we've actually done this in the past. It got a lot of love. You guys seem to enjoy it. We're basically just going to be scrolling through the reddit here for a little bit trying to find and showcase the best builds that we see here and uh, you guys will actually see my live raw reaction to this because um, this is my first time being on the reddit since the last time we recorded. I have not looked through it at all so all of this will be my genuine reaction along with you guys. I mean literally to start things off it says here is a subnautica inspired underwater base I created. And I actually think this looks really, really cool. I love that uh, there's still like farms and everything and the black stone along with the white concrete and the sea lanterns just looks really, really good. There's like even like a little armor thing and uh, there's actually like little underwater lamps as well. So that's really cool. You don't really see underwater bases too much. So even though this isn't like some mega base, I think this is really creative. All right, this one says r slash Minecraft took down my last post. Maybe you guys would enjoy my survivor world more. And, uh, oh my gosh, this is actually a really, really pretty area. I love the medieval style that he's going for here. Looks like a, like a church or chapel off to the right. He's building a huge castle over here. And this is kind of like, this appears to be like the main gateway to walk in through the village. I think this is really cool. Like, look at the, the detail on all the builds as well. Even though they are pretty large scale, I, I really like it. Oh, we actually have a video here. It's Unrecognized Gym. I spent so much work in Minecraft. And uh, let's just go ahead and give this a watch. Turn the music on too, might as well, right? Might as well, hopefully it's not copyright. Wow, this is actually amazing though. Like this is literally insane. This looks like cinematic straight out of a movie. He's even got all like the fireballs and stuff floating in the air with the dragon and uh, this massive fire monster, whatever that is. That is so sweet though, man. It's insane what the people, a part of the Minecraft community are able to build and accomplish. Like this is like genuine art essentially. Like look at the detail. There's even like a little skull guy on fire as well. This is a long video, so we're not gonna watch it all, but uh, this looks amazing. Oh, we actually have a Minecraft vs. Reality build here. These are always really cool. So we have the real version of the house down here. And then he built a replica up here. And it actually looks very, very good. Very similar. He actually made the texturing of like this brick look really good as well. I think he used maybe some bedrock in there, which is, is pretty cool. Yeah, this turned out amazing, man. I love when people replicate real life houses, especially with like the weird modern build style that's really popular right now. I love that they recreated that. All right, so we have the Venetian Arsenal from Civ 6 in Minecraft Survival. So he actually built this in Survival, which makes it even better. It's kind of a time lapse here, showing himself building it off on this floating platform in the water. I have not actually played Civ 6 before, I've only played Civilization 5, but if you guys have played the game, you, you probably recognize this. And, uh, I mean, just judging how it turned out, I feel like he probably did a really good job accurately uh, recreating it, so... Pretty cool build. The fact he did this in survival too makes it even better. Honestly, these are some of my favorite builds seeing on the Reddit. From Lex Builds, who said, made this little swamp house, and although this isn't some crazy, insane mega structure, just something about, like, these little houses, especially in, like, the swamps and, like, the less popular biomes that people usually build in. I just love the vibes. Like this literally looks so cozy, even though it's in a video game. Like I would definitely go here and drink some hot cocoa, sit on that porch out in the swamp. I think this looks really cool. And um, I just love like the very small, very detailed builds that just fit in really well. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is actually like some interior design stuff that uh, you guys could utilize for your houses in your Minecraft survival or creative worlds. I'm terrible at doing interior design. I usually leave the houses pretty open. But um, the fact that uh, he was able to make some of this stuff, like with mods, obviously, looks really cool. We have like a little checkerboard here, a little ping pong table, and like a little mini soccer field as well. And I really, really want to see a world tour of this. I don't know if this is built in survival or creative, regardless. This build off here to the right in the background looks amazing. I really wish this guy attached a video showing a tour. Because just from this one screenshot, this looks like an amazing, amazing world. I really want to see the rest of it. Transform the end portal room in my world. I hope you guys like it. And, oh, this actually looks really, really neat. I like this. Definitely unique 
from some of the other end portal transformations I've seen out there on YouTube. I like that he, he brought the end to the portal. Most people usually still try to make it feel like a little more overworldly and stuff before you go through the portal. But uh, the fact that he literally has like the end crystals on uh, the like the cages and uh, he has like the coarse fruit literally growing in the room. I think this looks pretty cool. Ooh, a snad cr Dude, this looks amazing. Coming from La Puffin. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. We literally talked about the possibility of there being a desert update in our last 1.20 news leaks and rumors video. Some of you guys that are regular watchers here on the channel probably remember that. And uh, this is like a perfect example of what could be done in the desert biome of Minecraft. Other than big pyramids, there really isn't that many uh, popular... The desert really isn't that popular of a place to build stuff. So the fact that this guy built this awesome temple here, I love the color scheme. The orange roof on all of the towers and pillars really makes this pop out. And then I love the addition of adding little little desert oasis palm trees and everything. It really just makes the build come to life. But uh, great job on this. It looks amazing. This guy built a steampunk submarine. And honestly, this kind of reminds me of the floating boats in the end cities. Whenever you're going to get the elytra, this literally looks like a modern steampunk version of that if like the end city's color scheme was like orange i think that's pretty cool but uh overall it looks amazing the fact that he used the dripstone in order for teeth it actually looks really realistic so great job man oh okay this one's pretty cool we have like an ice castle look here two very different castles i made on a pixelmon survival server which one do you like the most wow this was actually done in survival which makes it even that much more impressive but um i love 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 the block palette here Using the birch wood along with like quartz and white and light blue glass, this gives it a really, really cool effect from a distance and it blends in really well with like the snowy mountaintops. He also has another one as well, which is on a different mountaintop. This one definitely is a different vibe. This kind of has like that medieval vibe to it, which I think is really cool. Um, but that snow one, I definitely, I think that one looks amazing. Very unique. But um, I love it. The fact that these were built in survival too, you guys are insane. Oh, I love this. I love, love, love this. I made a lighthouse. It's coming from Guy Brush here on Reddit. And, uh, you know, the one thing I love about this, on top of the lighthouse just looking really, really cool, I love the attention to detail here. And he actually built a squid wrapping around it that looks like it's coming out of the water, dude. That actually looks so amazing. The idea of adding the squid there literally makes this so good to me. I, I absolutely enjoy it. There's also more images attached as well, so we're going to scroll through them. I think he just gives us all the different angles. Dude, that looks so sweet. The frontal shot with the squid there and, like, the lights on definitely is, like, the best angle. But um, I love it. And I actually really like that he used the new purple geode blocks as well. It really makes it pop out. Um, contrasting with like the dark wood that he used to build the lighthouse. A friend of mine made a working clock in Minecraft. He doesn't have a Reddit account, so I'm posting this for him. Hope you like it. Link in the video in the comments. Coming from a, a user known as M47. And uh, this is a working clock, supposedly. So that's already very impressive, but the clock design and the clock tower itself is mind-boggling, dude. I, I mean, I, the, the palette here that he used with the copper blocks and everything. Like the overall, it kind of has like a steampunky but also old school look to it at the same time. I don't know how he managed to get this look, but uh, the fact that this is an actual functioning clock, this is amazing. I hid my automatic farms in giant Minecraft blocks videos in the comments. Oh, this is a cool idea, okay. So I'm assuming this is in a survival world and he built big automatic farms and he actually covered each farm with the block that they're producing. So this looks really weird. Like, it's actually kind of trippy to look at. So he has a cactus farm, a stone generator farm, uh, probably a TNT duper or something in here, a melon and pumpkin farm, a wool farm, uh, a librarian trading area, and then this is probably a storage room along with an iron farm. I, I think this is a pretty cool idea, though. Like, imagine flying in a world and you just see massive blocks like this just on a random island. I think it's really cool, though. My farming village with a custom river. Ooh, this looks nice. I like this. I like the vibe of this right here, man. The fact that he added a custom river carving through it as well. Oh my gosh, new progress. So this is probably a project this guy's been working on for a while. And uh, this is definitely something that he's probably building in creative mode. I don't think this looks like a survival build. If it isn't survival, this dude is absolutely insane. I'll give him that. But regardless, it being in creative doesn't take any way, anything away from this. This is one of those builds that is so massive, but when you really look at every little area, there's so much detail here. And um, I just love the depth of this build. Like literally everywhere you look, there's depth and like multiple blocks coming in and out. And even though there is a lot of stone being used, the depth really breaks it up and doesn't make it too overwhelming. So 
This is an incredible build. This is probably going to be what we're ending the video off on, but I absolutely love this. I can't even tell what that block he's using for the roof is, but it pops out really nicely with that gray. Amazing job, Mr. MC Kuryu. But with that being said, that's all we got for you guys in today's video. There is so many amazing builds here on the Minecraft Reddit. Obviously, if we wanted to make a video covering all of them, it would be like a 20-hour video because there's just so much awesome stuff. It's really hard sometimes to even show like what to put in the video and what not to because there's just so many amazing things. But uh, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your feedback down below. If you guys give a lot of good feedback, we will definitely keep making these. The Minecraft Reddit is absolutely amazing. It is r slash Minecraft builds if you guys want to go check it out for yourself and see some of the stuff that we didn't see on that we didn't feature here on the video and uh, definitely all the power to you to do that. There's some awesome stuff here. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy my friends.